guys, my name is Brie Kerbison and in this video I'll be walking you through the process of buying Bitcoin in Canada. This process is a little bit different than it is for our neighbors down south. So I just want to make sure that you know exactly what tools to use, exactly what steps to follow in order to invest your Canadian dollars into cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies have been in the news basically 24 seven over the last year or so. And we are seeing lots of people make a crap ton of money and become millionaires overnight. The hype is real, it is powerful, and it's difficult to resist. But at the end of the day, Bitcoin is still a very risky investment. So for that reason, before we get started, I do want to encourage you not to invest your life savings into Bitcoin right away. Only invest what you are comfortable losing completely because at the end of the day, it is still gambling at this point. That being said, I do find it incredibly exciting watching where this is all going and seeing where it takes us because I really like the idea of the kind of world that cryptocurrencies can take us to, one where we are not as dependent on our governments, on our nation states, and on the central banks who can print money on a whim and devalue your buying power, which we are seeing quite a bit of lately in the wake of the COVID pandemic. So I'm personally planning on investing a little bit of money here and there, a little bit every month in Bitcoin, in Ethereum as we move forward. And I am planning on holding that for the long term. When it comes to buying Bitcoin, there are a lot of options. There's a lot of places you can buy it from. Some of the most well-known cryptocurrency exchanges are Coinbase, Binance, Gemini. But the problem with a lot of these is that they are American companies. So they do normally require you to fund your account with USD. As a Canadian who is earning their paychecks in Canadian dollars, having to transfer over to USD when you send it to a cryptocurrency exchange like Coinbase comes with a few downsides. So some cryptocurrency exchanges won't let you add Canadian dollars at all and other ones charge some high fees for converting that currency. So you end up losing a lot of the money and fees along the way. And obviously this is not ideal. We wanna be making money and not giving it away in currency exchange fees. So the easiest and fastest way to fund a cryptocurrency as a Canadian is to do it through a Canadian crypto exchange that accepts Canadian dollars via something like Interact e-transfers or direct connections to your Canadian bank account. Okay, so I'm gonna go through some of the easiest apps to use for buying and selling crypto for Canadians. So first up is Wealth Simple Crypto. You might already be familiar with the Wealth Simple Trade app, which you can use to buy ETFs and invest in stocks. I use this myself to invest, and this makes investing in crypto really easy, especially if you're already using that for your other investments. If you already have the Wealth Simple Trade app, you can simply go on in there, go to the menu, and go to the Wealth Simple Crypto tab on the menu. Once you click on that, you can go through the process of setting up your crypto account and then you can simply start trading buying and selling cryptocurrencies right from the app. I find the Wealth Simple Crypto app to be really user friendly, really nice interface, really easy to use and you can fund your account the same way you fund your trading account. So by connecting directly to your Canadian bank, this makes it really easy to add in your Canadian dollars to invest into cryptocurrencies. This is the first app that I personally looked into when I got into this because I had just signed up for Wealth Simple Trade. So this is the first thing that came to mind when I thought about investing in Bitcoin. However, there are a few problems with the Wealth Simple Crypto app that I do wanna make clear. The biggest thing with this trading app is that when you buy crypto, you do not get access to your cryptocurrencies. How it works is that basically Wealthsimple will buy Bitcoin or Ethereum for you and hold them in trust for you. So you can buy and sell straight on the app, but you cannot withdraw your coins, save them in a cold storage wallet or move them to other exchanges. So you're very limited in what you can do with it. This might be okay for you if you are just looking to dip your toes into the crypto space to just try this out but it does violate one of the first rules of crypto, which is not your keys, not your coins. So when you are not the one with access to the keys to let you access your coins, when you are storing them on another platform, such as Wealthsimple, this is considered more risky than storing them yourself because anybody can get hacked. And if this happens and somebody runs off with your coins, there's 
practically nothing you can do in order to get them back. Those coins once lost are gone for good. This is why the best practice with cryptocurrencies is to buy them on an exchange and then transfer them off into a cold storage wallet like the Ledger Nano S. This is the one that I use. I've got an entire tutorial up here you can watch if you want to learn how to transfer your cryptocurrencies from an exchange onto your Ledger Nano S for safekeeping. Of course, Wealth Simple has a great brand. They have great trust and they take good measures in order to protect you, to protect your coins. But again, there is that added risk. So if you wanna just dip your toes into this and give it a try, Wealth Simple should be good for you. But if you do wanna do this long-term, if you do want to invest a considerable amount into cryptocurrencies, then there is a better exchange for you. And that brings us to our next two options, which are ShakePay and Newton. With both of these Canadian exchanges, you own your coins. You can move them off the exchanges themselves, you can put them into cold storage, and you can transfer them to other exchanges such as Coinbase or Binance. And with both of these apps, the quickest and easiest way to fund your accounts is to do it via Interact e-transfer. Now, you've probably done this a lot to send money to friends or simply to send money between bank accounts. The same thing happens here. You set up an e-transfer to fund that account and then you can start investing right away. The best part about Interact e-transfers is that they are quick and they are free. So you can have your money into your account ready to invest in crypto within a few minutes to an hour or two at most. This is really useful when you know that cryptocurrency fluctuates as much as it does. So if you wanna get on there and jump on a dip in the price, this can allow you to do that. There are also no fees to fund your account or to withdraw back out into Canadian dollars on both of these exchanges. However, keep in mind that there is something called spread that you wanna be aware of. So spread is simply the difference between the market rate of the cryptocurrency you're buying or selling and what you can get it for on either ShakePay or Newton. So generally you'll be buying coins for a little bit more than they are worth and selling for a little bit less than they are worth. This is how exchanges like ShakePay and Newton make their money. This is how they cover their business expenses. And this is common across the board. So either you'll have fees or spread to look out for with any kind of cryptocurrency exchange. Generally, the spread is somewhere between one and two and a half percent on ShakePay and somewhere around 0.5% on Newton. So out of the two, Newton has the lower fees. You can store your Bitcoin right on these apps if you want to, but again, not your keys, not your coins. So I do encourage you to transfer any of the coins that you buy onto a hardware or cold storage wallet like the Nano Ledger S, which is what I use for my own storage. That way, if ShakePay or Newton were to get hacked, you are safe. You have your coins stored somewhere in your house in a safe place where nobody can touch that. So to show you just how easy it is to log into these apps, to fund your account and purchase Bitcoin, I'm just gonna grab my phone here and show you exactly how that's done. So I'm gonna grab my phone and open up the Newton app. So I'm gonna go in, open up Newton. And first of all, we wanna fund our account with some Canadian dollars. So in order to do that, I'm gonna click the double arrow button in the bottom and I would like to add funds. So in order to add via Interact eTransfer, I'm gonna click that option and then choose how much I want to fund my account with. So say I wanna add in $200. So I'm gonna go done, make sure that my email address is the right one and then go down and click on send fund request. What this will do is it'll send an email to your personal email. You'll open that up, click on the link, log in to your online banking and accept the transfer of funds. This usually takes anywhere between five and 10 minutes with this app to have it show up inside Newton in order to use. So just sit tight and wait for your Canadian dollars to show up in your account. Okay, once your funds arrive inside your crypto exchange, you can go down again to this double arrow button and now I want to trade. So I can go in here and choose how much I wanna trade. So let's say I wanna invest $100. And then down here in the second box, I can choose which cryptocurrency I want to purchase. So Newton has, at the time of this recording, they have 10 different cryptocurrencies you can invest in. So you can choose from that list. So say I want to invest in Bitcoin. And then once I'm ready to go, I go and swipe that button there to trade. And that is basically how you do it. It's quick, it's easy, it's simple. An idiot could do it. If you wanted to go and transfer that Bitcoin over to your cold storage wallet, like the Ledger Nano S, which you can grab at the link in the description below if you don't have one yet. And to do that, 
inside Newton, you can go ahead and click that double arrow button again. And instead of choosing to trade, I want to withdraw and I want to withdraw crypto to wallet. So again, it's very straightforward. Choose how much you want to withdraw, type in that number, and then you want to log into the app that goes along with your hardware wallet. Log in, grab your address or scan the QR code that comes up for that. This is unique to each person. So I would have a Bitcoin address. I paste that in there and then simply swipe to withdraw. And then that happens basically in an instant. And that way you have it there for safekeeping. If you do want to sell your Bitcoin and cash back out to Canadian, you go back to trade and click the arrows between the dollar and the Bitcoin amount. So now we're going to put in how much Bitcoin we want to trade and how much Canadian is going to come out. Once you're ready to do that, swipe to trade and you've converted your Bitcoin back into Canadian. If you want to withdraw that to your Canadian bank, again, we go back to withdraw. And instead of choosing crypto to wallet, we want to go back to via interact e-transfer and again, choose the amount that you want to send to ourselves and then go and swipe to withdraw. And we'll send that money back to our Canadian bank account in the same way that we sent funds from our bank account onto our crypto app. Now, when it comes to choosing between these two apps, whether you want to go with ShakePay or go with Newton, it's really up to personal preference. As I mentioned before, the spread is lower on Newton. So you will pay less in fees whenever you are buying or selling cryptocurrencies and Newton as well offers more crypto cryptocurrency options. On ShakePay, you can only purchase Bitcoin or Ethereum. And as I mentioned, Newton has 10 different cryptocurrencies that you can buy and sell. So if you're planning on getting a little more into this, into diversifying your crypto investments, then Newton is the better app for that reason. But if you're like me and you want to keep things simple and you do plan on investing in the big two, which is Bitcoin and Ethereum, then ShakePay is a great app for that. Personally, out of the two, I prefer ShakePay. It has a really simple user interface and it has a nice little feature that allows you to simply open up the app and shake your phone every day to earn a few free Satoshis, which is the smallest denomination of Bitcoin. You won't be making a ton with this feature, but it's a fun little thing to get you to log into the app every day and stay engaged with your investing strategy. I am personally using them both right now. I am not sure if I'm going to simply stick with one. I like to have options, so I'm using them both. But if you are ready to get started on either Newton or ShakePay, I do have tutorials for each of them up here in the card. So if you want some help getting set up, adding funds, investing, buying your first Bitcoin, selling your first Bitcoin, transferring onto a cold storage wallet, it's all in there. It's all covered inside those tutorials. Also, if you've decided to go with ShakePay, make sure you use my referral link below and you'll get an extra $10 added to your account when you sign up and fund your account with your first $100. If you decide to go with Newton instead, again, I have a referral link for that one too. Click below, sign up through that, and you'll get an extra $25 in your account when you fund your account with your first $100. Or you can be like me and sign up for them both, get that $10, get that $25, and invest in each one. Play around with them, see which ones you like, and give them a spin and see which one sticks. All right, guys, that is just about it for this video. So I wanna thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sticking around to the end. And if you enjoyed this video, please toss me a like, hit that subscribe button, and I just appreciate all of your support. Is there something I missed talking about in this video? Make sure you drop a comment below, we can discuss, and I'll maybe even make a video on that topic in the future. Otherwise, keep on watching, check out one of these videos next, and I will see you next time.